Welcome to Chris Court Photography. Just a quick tutorial today on how to add a dreamy glow to your portrait in Affinity Photo. Just open a stock image in Affinity Photo. So First thing you want to do is right click on this layer and uh, duplicate the layer. Then we want to set the blend mode to linear light. Obviously that's a bit harsh at the moment. So if we take the opacity down to about 25%. So at the moment we have the bottom layer and the top one, which is just adding a bit of harsher contrast. So we go to filters, blur, oh, go back and select the layer, might help. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's add a fair amount of dreamy blur at the moment. <clears throat> Apply that. But obviously we've lost some detail around the eyes and the hair and the edges. It all looks a bit too soft. So what we can do is if we click the settings icon on the blurred layer on this source layers range here basically this black dot on the left side means 100% black and on the right it means 100% white so as you bring these down the opacity is 0 to 100 on the black there and 0 to 100 on the white on the right hand side so we want to just take the sort of top 20% blacks and top 20% whites and let the original layer um, show uh, through so that it maintains a bit of detail whilst adding the dreamy blur so if we just bring that one down there and then add this up to here and do the same for this one bring this up it's basically said keep the blur in the mid-range tones and then on the very darks and the very lights let most of the original layer show through to show some sharpness. If we untick this linear it will make these lines a bit more curved so they taper off a little bit nicer. So I'll close that and if you look at the uh, just rename it blur layer. If we toggle that on and off now you can see there's a bit of a glow around the edges there's a bit of a shadow around her hair, which uh, I think I'll taper off in a moment. I'll show you how. We could probably increase the opacity a little bit more to, say, 30%. So as you can see, around the dark areas, like the eyelashes and the hair, it's uh, still fairly sharp, but the cheeks and all around the chin or softer when you enable the layer. So what we can do now is we go to adjustment layer, add a curves layer, go back to layers here, oh, let's do that again, a curves, curves layer, go back to the layers panel and we want to drop that on the blur layer so that any adjustments we make here only apply to the blur layer. And we also want to set this curves adjustment layer to luminosity so that we only affect the brightness, not the colours. So now, if we create three points on this curve, so one here for shadows, one for midtones, and one for highlights, you see here it'll brighten up the midtones, brighten the highlights here, and adjust the shadows your liking so we can pull that down a bit make it a bit more contrasting so now it's looking a bit more dreamy and vibrant this shadow around the hair next to her eye if we bring that shadow layer up a bit actually that will actually tape off a bit more there we go a little bit more on this mid tones as well it's a bit more subtle Okay, and what else we can do is if we add a layer mask, like 
like so. White reveals, black conceals. So at the moment, everything is visible on this blur layer. But um, if, for example, we wanted the original lips and eyelashes to show through, just so it looks a little bit sharper, what we can do is if we get the paintbrush and just a very small amount of flow, like 5%, select black, you can start concealing the blur layer so that the original lips show through, which will just add a little bit more contrast and detail to here. Obviously I'm doing 5% strokes here because the flow is very low. So it's gonna take a few passes before it looks visible. You can do the same for the eyelashes as well, just make them a little bit more distinct. So now for it to toggle on and off this mask layer, you can see it's just added a bit more detail in. But you can do this for many areas, whether it's the skin, the eyes, the hair. It's all trial and error really, and it depends on the image you're editing. So, But yeah, that was a simple um, technique on how to add a soft glow to your images. So um, yes, yeah, a good starting point. Um, all the best.